Welcome to the first episode of Elias Zoo, where I'm going to be talking to you in person. And welcome to the fifth episode of Elias Zoo as a whole. Now, I know what you're thinking, Rebecca. Your text-to-speech thingy is not up anymore, and that's okay. I don't think I'm going to be using both. Uh, you can just put closed captions on if you really do want that. But for right now, I think I'm just going to hold off on doing both. A little too time-consuming for me. Speaking of time consuming, I really have not been on as much as I wanted to be lately. I know I've been doing it maybe once a week uploading a video, but I would like to be doing it at least twice a week. I'm thinking if I can get the videos out. But yeah, hi. How is everyone doing today? I'm glad you're here if you did start watching my video or if you're already a subscriber, which if you're a subscriber, I would just like to say in person as my real voice. Thank you. It means a lot. I really didn't think I was going to get over 10 followers or subscribers, not followers. I always forget YouTube is different. YouTube be different like that. But no, seriously, I really am grateful for all of the followers and everyone who comments on my videos at least once, you know, it's great. It really is. I'm very blessed, even though it's only 50 followers. I'm nowhere near most people, but that's okay. Anyways, but let's get on the building. So for this one, I chose a uh, new mod, uh, the Emperor Penguins. They are freaking beautiful, honestly. Like you could tell me Frontier made them and I would believe you. They're just beautiful. Uh, but I chose them because uh, obviously this Little Mermaid build is based off of more or less the second Little Mermaid and I know that's kind of an obscure thing to make it, but, you know, in my world, in this zoo, you know, Elias Zoo is not the Disney World, it's not, you know, California, Disney World, you know, it's made, and it's, you know, been around for a while, it's, maybe has more side characters, less main characters, um, you know, a little more obscure than the normal Disney World that we think of now. Not that it's not, you know, highly popular and probably overly expensive, but, you know, yeah. So it's got the Little Mermaid castle from the second one, well, the first and second, but it was featured more in the second one when Ariel had a child, Melody. Now, if you're a Disney nerd like me, you know that Melody was a little bit more featured in, the, in, the, in Eric's castle than her mother was and uh, most of her plot actually centers around being stuck there because, you know, Ursula's sister kind of wants to kill her, you know, of course it's a Disney plot so, you know, the, the sister of the dead witch wants to kill the daughter of the main character, you know, but we're not going to get, we're not going to get into the uh, similarities between that and the first one basically being rip off, but it's a great movie, it's a great movie and I loved it as a child you know, but yeah, so, but let's get back onto the build. So basically what I'm doing right now, and again, forgive me for literally not knowing what I'm doing at all. I'm making a mostly outdoor habitat for a penguin who is supposed to be in the Antarctic. Um, the, yeah, I, I noticed later I fix it, you know, don't worry. I, it'll be fine. They're, they're not going to like die. <laughs> but um yeah so basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make it more kid friendly on this side I put in uh, like a viewing area so the kids don't have any obstructions uh, I fix the pathing later on too so it looks a lot better than it does right now honestly I'm kind of proud of that whole corner but yeah you will see later on that I actually put a glass roof over this entire thing to keep the cold air in um, I do have like an opening on top of it and I don't think I actually recorded any of that but you will see it at the end of this video. Um, again, apologies for not recording some of this. My, my, my timing on YouTube videos, you know, I'm still working on it. I'm, I'm really trying to figure out how to um, make them, edit them, and get them out in a reasonable amount of time because usually I like to just make one and then edit it all, get excited, and post it right away, and then have nothing for the next week because I'm busy. But, yeah. So, 
that's why, you know, some of my videos take a week, some of them take, you know, two days. Sometimes I post three in one day. It just kind of depends. Um, so, you know, the thing at the end of the video where it's like, every Wednesday, you know, you're going to get a new video. I may have to change that. It's not the most honest thing about this channel. <laughs> but anyways, so basically what I'm doing here is, um, I'm taking two of the different, like, dirt panels um, and like flipping them upside down so they're flat and um, kind of extending the land a little bit because it looked kind of janky. Um, I actually ended up doing a little bit more than just the rocks on this, I believe. Um, I really love... Okay, so I've been watching S. Dan's lives for a while now and his, his um, Lost Creek. Lost Creek? Oh no, now I feel like a bad fan. Is it Lost Creek? Let me check. Yeah, so Lo Lost Creek Zoo. I had to look it up because I was <laughs> feeling bad. Okay, it is Lost Creek. So I was watching his lives when he was making Lost Creek Zoo, and oh god, it's just it's so great. It's so great. I've missed the last few, I think, but I am just chef's kiss. They're so good. The detail, the terrain modifications, oh, beautiful. But, so I try and do a little bit of that over here. Um, I really do like the way it turned out. And I've been starting to do this in a few different places just for, like, filler. Um, I'll probably, once I'm done with most of the exhibits in here, kind of go back and just adjust different details. I know I'm trying to make it a little bit more realistic. And it's kind of realistic. Um, but the realism aspect, I am not good at. So I will probably, once I'm done with like the main zoo exhibits in the zoo, I'll probably go back and definitely try and edit some stuff, change things around, make it a little bit more realistic than it, than it is already. Cause not, I mean it is, but I also have like, you know, seals just out in a lake and um, some buoys being the only thing that hold them back. So maybe, maybe it's not the most realistic thing, but I'm trying. Um, so yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a different types of foliage. I've been trying to think of, uh, what do they call them, sight lines. I really never do when I make zoos, um, but I love the realism aspect that they give them and shade. Um, again, something that you don't think about when you're playing a game is being the actual person that's walking around and if nothing is shaded, then you're literally just gonna be in hell. Like, it's gonna be a zoo and you're gonna see cute animals, but you're gonna, you're gonna hate being there because it's gonna be hot and you have, you know, like 1% of shade to go underneath. So yeah, so I've been working on m many different things, but mostly the realism aspect and um, like trying to think about sight lines and things like that when I'm actually creating. Cause most of the time I just, you know, kind of just go off what's in my head and usually it's not too realistic, especially with uh, Planet Zoo type like measurements with like the heights and everything that they do. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with how a few of the smaller areas turned out. Um, like the extra foliage areas, they really do look good in my opinion. Which is saying a lot because usually when I get done with everything, I hate the way it looks. But um, yeah, so right here I'm just adding like different levels. You know, it's kind of hard to do that with the pathing in this. So I did that little trick where you do like the faux fake dirt and kind of add it in, you know, different grasses, different bushes because um, in my fake world, this is in Michigan, in the Upper Peninsula, because I think there was, what was it, like a few years back, there was rumors that Disney was going to open a theme park up north. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would go. That would be cool. I wouldn't have to fly. I could just drive, which would be nice. But yeah, so just going through different little things um, in the back here. Again, I it does jump a lot once we get to, um, I can't remember which part, but I, I jump a lot. I did a lot off, off of my recordings. Um, but yeah, just now I'm starting to think about, oh right, they're penguins. They may be a little hot in Michigan summers if I just leave everything open to walk into. So I'm closing it off a little bit. Um, I really like the way this turned out, the entrances and exits. Um, usually when I'm doing like, entrances, exits, I don't really put much thought into them and just kind of use the, um, you know, like the Planet Zoo doors. 
but I really wanted to kind of, you know, expand out on what I normally do. And I really liked the way this turned out. It looks very modern, very Disney, in my opinion. Like, they kind of go above and beyond for all of their areas. And I feel like this looks pretty accurate to something that could be in a Disney park or a zoo whatever you'd like to call it. Although I will say this one door on the side kind of, I think I may change that, I don't know. Cause like, who's gonna, who's gonna walk in on that side? Probably not a lot of people. It's kind of blocked off, but we'll see. I may change that. But yeah, so I just go in here, fix a little bit of the um, wood pieces that don't really line up very well. Um, I tried to make this door look like it was like sliding open to give the illusion of like automatic sliding doors. And then I was going to put, like, door handles on them, but I already know this is going to be a huge build. And I, you know, a huge zoo, and I didn't really, like, want extra pieces in, in the piece count. So I didn't do that. I also tried these little uh, ridges on the top, but it kind of ruined the modern vibe that I was going for. So I change it. Um, but yeah, so up, uh, coming up, there's going to be a big jump cut, and it's going to look... A lot different I finished a lot of things um, off off of my recordings um, just because honestly I think I think I don't, I don't know why I just I'm bad at this <laughs> yeah, I'm just a bit like a baby beginner so I guess that's probably why but I did record um, making this sign I actually really like it um, it looks very modern and kind of what you would see when you like walk through to a different area and um, a theme park which is what I was going for um, in this as well um, I actually have an area where you can quote-unquote meet tip and dash and um, my thought was that it would either be like a character like it would be in Disney um, you know like the full costume characters or um, and this would be kind of cool too especially since walruses can be trained and penguins can be you know, relatively trained. Um, it may be an area where keepers um, go and you can take pictures with them. Um, although I did kind of make it more t like catered towards like costumed characters um, where kids can go and take pictures, but I am very proud of how it looks. It's a little small, but I also assume at least in this world that Tip and Dash would not get very many photo op opportunities. Melody might make a, make an appearance in there as well, but she has her own area. So maybe, maybe not. Maybe she'd just walk in every once in a while and be like, hey, what's up? These are my friends. Do you want to take a group picture together? I don't really know how Disney works. They would probably not do that because they have their own areas. But um, yeah, so basically what I'm doing here, I'm just making a sign. Again, I love how this turns out. I loved the black and white or like the dark brown-ish um, like features. It looks very um, kind of modern. I also put drop shadow on the adventures as well, which I was very proud of. Um, I think it just gives it a little bit more depth, especially when you're like looking because it's like very, you know, see-through-ish. So just to pump it up a little bit and make it a little bit more visible to people. But yeah, and so now I am going and I'm kind of sectioning off the area with some fencing. Um, not, it's not too themed, not, not too um, overly done. I do take most of the lampposts off. I think I may end up just taking them all off. I feel like they're a bit too big, a bit too clunky. Um, and I do lower this all, I think eventually, just down a little bit. Um, Honestly, at least that I've noticed in zoos and in Disney when I went there, um, they have barriers everywhere, but they're not strictly like, you know, up to your hips, up to your, you know, mid area. Um, they're usually down lower by your knees just to keep people out of um, different areas. Um, I do, though, if you notice, I love this little sculpture thingy that I did here. Um, the main sculpture is actually the, um, what is it, the wind solar power energy thing, and it moves, and so it looks like a moving sculpture, and it, it does work for electricity, but it does kind of break every once in a while because no one can get to it, but I do love the way it looks, 
Um, I wish... I wish... I wish Frontier had more things like that. Except for just, um, the, uh, <coughs> kangaroo. But, um, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not that bad about it. Um, but yeah. So that's actually what that is if anyone's wondering and watches and they're like, What's that sculpture? I've never seen a moving sculpture. It's not. It's, it's, it's just a wind turbine. Um, but yeah. So now you can actually see me go in with the glass and, um, you know, make it more, uh, habitable for real penguins also i don't think i recorded the um building aspect of the interior of the um building but you will see that at the end of the video that being said i think i'm gonna let this um recording end and i will talk to you guys in the next video i have some very cool cinematography at the end i have just started messing around with different um like editing software to make it look a bit prettier um so i hope you guys like it and um if you do you know um let me know in the comments or maybe give a like um if you do want to see more you can always subscribe though you do not need to you can just pop back in any time but i really do appreciate the support i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and i will talk to you later see ya